hey guys welcome back to my channel in the previous session we have seen how to create a google spreadsheet in a google drive with the help of your path studio in the present session i am going to show you how we can add extra sheets to a existing google spreadsheet so here this is the example which we have created yesterday so as i said earlier so this is the url which we can share to the user so here the portion which I have selected is the sheet ID. So with the help of the sheet ID, we can perform the operations on a particular spreadsheet. So here you can see this sheet contains only one sheet with the name as sheet one. So here if you click on the arrow, it is showing some options. So by taking this sheet ID, we'll perform the operation of adding the extra spreadsheet with the help of your path studio so for that i have created a new sequence with the name as add sheet so let's go to the activities so here i brought this g suit application scope from the activities and i configured the properties with my auth the client id and the client secret so let me show you that as well so here the properties yeah here you can see the client ID and client secret okay so next thing is so search for sheets so here if you observe there is an activity called add new sheet just drag and drop this into the designer panel so here if you notice the inputs so first option is the spreadsheet ID so this spreadsheet ID we can get from this URL so I already copied it and I will place it in the double quotes inside this text field and next thing is so the sheet name so whichever the sheet name you want to add into the existing Google sheet so you can keep this name as it is or you can choose the another sheet name so for example I will keep like this as add sheet okay so if you observe the properties so here it has the fields to choose the number of columns and number of rows as well as the position index so this position index is nothing but the position of the sheet so as we have only one sheet so the newly added sheet will get appended and displayed after the sheet one okay so here we can choose the columns just like while creating the activity of uh, create a new sheet so here also we can choose the columns and rows so this time i will just keep the columns as 5 and the rows count as 10 so i'm not keeping the position index okay let's run now so the execution is started so the execution is closed and let's check the drive so here we can see a new sheet is added already with the name as add sheet and the columns here you can notice as a b c d e it means five columns and 10 rows so here you can see the 10 as the column number so let's change the position index like uh, one so here it starts from one and two so let's check now So here we got the error saying a sheet with the name add sheet already exists please enter another name so because of the same name it is showing the error so let me replace this add sheet with uh, some other value so let me add sheet 2 okay so let's run now So here you can see this sheet 1 and add sheet 2 is placed in between the sheet 1 and add sheet. So it means so the index of the Google Sheets is starting with 0 and here the position is 1 and the next thing is 2. Okay. So let's remove this index and let's see the position of uh, the new sheet. 
okay this time i just place the sheet as 3 so here this add sheet 3 is copied and pasted after the add sheet so which is at the last position and so let's see one more activity in the sheets activity that is nothing but the delete sheet so here you can just keep the name of the sheet as well as the spreadsheet id so i'll just comment this one so here if you right click and click on the disable activity it will get commented so here you can see this has commented out so same way here also we need to provide the sheet id and the sheet name so this is the sheet id i am going to use so here i am going to keep this add sheet as my sheet name which i want to remove from the google sheets okay so that's all the properties it has so only the spreadsheet id and the sheet name so restore or not required so let's run this and uh, we can see whether the sheet is deleted permanently or not from the google drive so the execution is completed yeah so you can see that sheet got removed so now we have the sheets one sheet two and sheet three so like this we need can include a new sheet with the help of a new sheet activity or you can delete the existing sheet with the help of delete sheet activity i hope you like this video if you like the video please do like and subscribe to our channel and please provide your comments or any questions related to your path in the comment section thank you